Well, hello everyone, Coach Brenda here. Happy Monday to you. It is Manifest Monday and I am here to talk to you for a few minutes about the heart. We're talking all about the heart for the month of February. The heart. When you think about the heart, you think about an important organ in the body. This is something that pumps blood throughout your body. And what would you do if you didn't have the heart to pump blood? You wouldn't be alive. And so it is so important that we really guard our heart. Even the scripture talks about guarding our heart because out of it flows the issues of life. So it refers to our heart as an important part. So today I'm just going to talk for a few minutes about some of the measures of a heart healthy diet. So often we don't think about our heart and the, the function of our heart and all the things that our heart has to do until something happens. Either our blood pressure goes up or all of a sudden you start feeling your heart beating, which you shouldn't be feeling anything palpitating, uh, but we feel our heart beating and then we know something's going on or maybe you're feeling short of breath or more tired. And then you start thinking about, wait a minute, something is happening here with my body. So I'm gonna talk about some tips that you uh, can use really to focus on a heart healthy diet. Number one, one of the things to focus on is eating more fruits and vegetables healthy fruits and vegetables. You can eat a colorful plate of fruits and vegetables, purples, the reds, the green leafy vegetables, just really focusing in and eating 50 to 80% of fruits and vegetables. The second thing that you can choose to do is to uh, eat whole grains, eat whole grains. Another thing that I like to focus on is nuts and seeds, healthy fats, avocado, really focusing in on eating those things. Chia seeds, which are good for cholesterol, um, really focusing in on walnuts, almonds, you know, I like to do them raw and maybe toast them if you want um, so that you don't get all that salt. Next is limiting salt, limiting that extra salt. Sometimes we don't realize how much salt we're taking in until uh, you read that label. So I encourage you, read your label. Look at what you have on in your content. You know, I love uh, sardines and I got wild caught sardines. So I thought, okay, I'm doing the right thing. Got wild caught, I got some wild caught sardines. And I looked on the back and it was 360 milligrams of sodium. So yes. really be mindful of how much salt is in your food, reading your label and really focusing in on keeping that sodium level low. Another thing, cutting down on sugary foods and beverages, that also affects your heart. It affects your heart, it affects your blood sugar, um, your A1C, so cutting down on those sugary beverages. If you do not drink alcohol, don't start. That's all I want to tell you about that. Because if you are drinking, try to limit yourself. Start cutting back on the amount of alcohol that you're taking in. Limit processed foods. Limit processed foods. That's all I'm gonna say about that because processed foods, anything that is on your shelf that can be there for years, limit that and really focus in on fresh foods. So you want to eat to achieve energy and strength in your body. And how else do you do that than to increase your fruits and vegetables, limit your salt intake, limit the, the alcohol in your life, uh, cutting out the sugary drinks. All of these things are beneficial to you improving your heart health. And so tonight we're gonna manifest 
some things over our lives. We read a couple scriptures that go along with uh, what we're talking about tonight, the heart. One of them is Jeremiah 30 and 17. And it says, but I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. So he's telling us right here, I will restore your health and I will heal your wounds, no matter what those wounds are, no matter what that sickness is. When we come to God, he will restore to us our health and heal those wounds, whether it's a natural wounds or whether it's something physically that is attacking our body, God will heal those wounds. The next scripture, Isaiah 38 and 16 through 17, it says, you restored me to health and let me live. Surely it was for my benefits that I suffered such anguish. In your love, you kept me from the pit of destruction. You have put all my sins behind my back. God has restored us to health. And if you're going through, know that he will restore you unto health. Proverbs 17 and 22, it, we're going to manifest this, is a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. So we want to manifest today that I will have a cheerful heart because it is good medicine for my body. I will have a cheerful heart. And last, 3 John 1 and 2, where it says, Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. So God is telling us here, I want you to prosper. May you enjoy good health and that all goes well. God wants us to be healthy. He wants us to be well. And it is up to us to take the steps, to do the things that, that we need to do to live a healthy lifestyle. It's not too late. Even if you have gone the wrong way, it's not too late to turn it around. It's not too late to create new habits and do new things. He said, I will do a new thing in you. I will do a new thing in you. So it is up to us to make the decision that I want to live healthy. I want to be well. I want to be able to do the things that God is calling me to do. So it is all about focusing your attention on him and asking God, Lord, help me. Help me to be who you've called me to be. Help me to have that self-control, to be able to eat healthy, to be able to live a healthy lifestyle. It's not too late. You can do it. Just begin to manifest over your life the things that God has already told you. Have an amazing Monday.